All right, welcome back to the workshop. Today we've got us a little gas grill going together. Now, the neighbor, he uh, wanted this grill. He didn't want to put it together himself. He wanted me to do it. So we uh, ordered this up from the big uh, Walmart. And it's approximately $200 grill. Don't look to be all bad. I don't do a lot of grilling out myself. I'm too busy in the shop. But anyways, they uh, delivered it this morning, no cost to me, so that worked out well. Ordered it last night, so pretty quick turnaround on that. <clears throat> so they were talking, uh, I think it was, like, I don't know, 90 bucks or something, or $76, something like that, to put this thing together. And uh, so we're going to see if it would have been worth the $76 to put it together. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put it together ourselves. Let's see, the temperature outside right now... Uh, someplace around 101 degrees. The humidity is probably about, whew, feels like the same. So I'm going to be a little bit of sweaty. Uh, what do they call that? Uh, you know, a little glitter there for the ladies, I think is what they call that. But anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and we'll see if we can kind of run through this thing a little speed up. Uh, if I don't get in, interrupted on this, a little bit of time probably for the video and stuff set up, but uh, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon. And uh, we'll see just how much time it takes to put this thing together and what we got to do. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll set this on the old stand and we'll see if we can give you a little bit of a rundown on how to do it and how long it actually takes and see if you think it's uh, actually worth uh, having Walmart people do it for you or anybody else for that matter. So let's see if we can kind of set this up and we'll get it set up and ready to go and uh, we'll go from there. We've got the uh, thing all unpacked. We've got parts and pieces everywhere, I think, that kind of laid out, so we'll be able to tell. You can come in and see this. I'll back it up a little bit. We have all the pieces on the floor here. Uh, and we'll go down through the directions. Looks like they're kind of like most of them. A lot of pictures. So let's see if we can figure out what pieces go where. Uh, this is all part of the procedure, I think. So let's see. It says one and two which are upright. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what one and two really are. Ah, one and two. Long with some screws in it. Don't look like any of those. I wonder if that's these over here. I'd almost yes. Ah. Uh, ah, yes. Okay. These parts are actually labeled. So we've got, oh, let's see what we do have here. Part number four, part number two, 
part number one, part number five. Okay, that's giving us a little hint. So we've got one and two go together. Boom and boom. We're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, it looks like, because the bolts are already kind of in place. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, our arm's going to go between that, which is going to be probably uh, this one here. Do they have any numbers on these, though? I do not see a number on here. Uh, between four and five, it looks like, is the one that's going to have the grooves in it. So we'll put that with four and five. And this one here does not. It's about the same length, so I'm going to guess that goes together. So let's get me a screwdriver. And it tells me that one being here, or one screw in the front, and the two on the side, so we should be able to loosen these up. And I don't think we need to do much more than loosen them. We take this one and kind of clip it in there. And we can kind of snug that down probably a little bit. I don't know if we need it real tight because we'll probably end up taking some of these back apart when we make a mistake on something. Uh, so that'll be that side. And the other side's going to have a little screw to the front also, or does it not? No, this one here does not have that to the front. Uh, I think this one just goes to here, so we'll go ahead and loosen these up. And it looks to me like this is probably going to be the wheel with the uh, axles on it, so we'll hook that together. And... If my picture reading is correct, it's going to look like this. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. I don't know. Maybe. That's what we're guessing on. That kind of looks like one and two. Has a couple screws there. It shows in the picture. A couple screws there. And one up there. So I'm thinking that's what we got for that one. They're snugged up. We'll set that to the side. And the next step is going to be four and four and five. And I think we're going to be doing the same thing on this one. Uh, this looks like one set of screws here. And these are going to go, let's see here. This goes this way. This one's going to set onto it, just like that. And uh, this doesn't show the chain, but it also shows it as going outwards. This must be the wheels right here. We're guessing at all of this, of course. And that will slide right on into this. Sometimes I think these pictures are a little tough to follow exactly, but hopefully this will maybe help out somebody if they buy one of these grills. They all kind of probably go together about the same. All right, so that's that part of it. And the next thing we're going to need is a long one. This one here. And it will go between these. So let's see which side is this going to indicate. Uh, if that's there. And this is saying in the back side here. I'm going to guess. Because that's where those screws are at. So let's go ahead and attach that. I do like it that they have all these screws already in place. You just loosen them up and then snug them back down again. That's pretty convenient. And then this one means it's got to be done. It's going to have to have the same thing. So we're going to be the only two screws that are here that line up with it. We'll slide that one. 
onto here. There we go. You're almost getting a stand put together, it looks like. Okay. And there we have it. So let's see if we can turn this to kind of match our picture. Uh, which is going to say just like that. Now we need to find some other bracing here. I think it's these guys. Let's see if we can make these pictures work for us somehow. Uh, I'm going to guess this is going to sit somehow like this. And, uh, yes. Yes, and it actually does have an L on there, so that's where that one's going to go. And this one says R. So I'm going to say that this one's going to go here, and they'll line up with that. So next thing we're going to need is the screws to put it together. They don't have those in there. They do send us a whole package of these. And I think it says it's uh, screw A, and on our pack it actually shows us an A, so that'll be the right screws to hold all this together. Let's open this thing up and get a couple screws out of here. And this is going to require eight of these screws, it says. So we'll go ahead and set those there. Okay, that's got those put on, and now for the next part is going to be, uh, looks like the front cover here is going to need something, and those are going to be these big old panels here. Let's see, it's not going to be this one, and it's not going to be this one. So I have to go on a little bit later. And I think they're talking about these panels. Yes. Okay, so these have uh, the grill and the other. There's just another piece inside of here. Let's set that off the side, figure out what it goes to. Uh, this must be the back side, and it looks like, yes, it does. They're going to come in here and uh, set right into here. There's, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but there's screws right here, all the way down through, four on each side, and they need to be just loosened up a bit. Don't take them all the way out. Okay, that completes step number four. I think there's only 22 steps to this, so we're really making some progress here. Uh, step number five. Let's see if we can get the page open here. It says, time to put the wheels on her. So we will need nuts E and washer F D, E and D. Whew, okay, I had a quick phone call there. Sorry about that if uh, that kind of interrupted you. Hope you like my little ringtone. Anyways, they'll probably gig me for uh, hearing that on the thing. Maybe not. Uh, YouTube doesn't like uh, 
any music in there because it's an uh, infringement of copyright and all that kind of thing. But anyways, we're going to continue on. We're going to go ahead and D and E our our, our uh, wheel installation bolts and nuts. Uh, so these tires, they've got an indent on them, and they have have the bump out. And I'm uh, going to pretty much be sure that the indent is going to be this way. So that the bump out sits up against the grill. And then on the other part of this will be a washer on first. And then these are what they call nylock nuts. They have a little nylon inside of them. And what that will do is keep them from uh, spinning back off again once you put them on. So that's, uh, that's what they would consider a lock nut instead of a lock washer because you don't want these real tight you want them to roll so we'll snug these down and make sure that the tire still go it looks like it might even bottom out so you don't have to worry about that that one's rolling nicely we'll go ahead and uh, see if we can do this other one now around you might be able to see what i'm doing let's say washer on first not on second and then just a little crescent wrench will snug her right up. And like I say, you snug these piers right on down. Wheels are spinning. That's what we were after. Alrighty. Step five complete. And step six. Looks like they're pretty easy. We are going to spin this around for you. And what that is, these little bad guys right here. And it looks to me like, I don't know if they say right and left on here or not. Are they the same or are they not? We're going to look at them over real quick. Uh, there is a little catch in a hole inside of here. One side has a catch. The other one does not. And it looks to me like this one here. It's got that little catch in there. I don't know. Maybe both sides do. Yep. So I don't think it really matters. Anyways, they're going to go on here. And they kind of clip right on. And this other side should do the same thing. Just push them up on. That holds them in place. That gets her leveled back out. And step number six is complete. All right. Number seven. It shows a screw and the hose coming out. Two screws. That's going to be this one here on our burner. And there's another one that looks like on the other side. That's going to be the same thing. And it is. And it's backed out just a little bit. Uh, they're saying to take those out. So we'll go ahead and remove those. That's going to be, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, on this one here is going to be this. Like I say, it's a good part of the way out anyways. Take that one out. We'll do the same thing for the top one on this side. I believe the next step is to actually take this and set it up on top of here. See if we can line it up. This might be a job uh, more easily accomplished. 
with two. Okay, GoPro's not liking this heat too much. It shut off on me on that last one, but I think it got basically the thing. So we might have to cut a couple of these a little bit short. But anyways, this right here, uh, when you put this on, should line up about like that. And we're going to go ahead and put uh, the A screws into that. We'll line that up a little better. And out of our pack, we'll go ahead and put the uh, screws in that. There's two on each side. We'll go ahead and do that. Let me kill the camera. You'll, you'll be all right with this. and let this thing cool down just a little bit. Okay, so what it's wanting us to do next is to put these side wings on. And we are supposed to loosen this screw up and this screw here. We've already removed this screw. And then on the back of this, you can kind of see that this is grooved out a little bit. This one's grooved out a little bit. And then we'll be putting some number A screws, bolts, into those two. And then tightening this one and putting that one we took out from down here back into it again. So let's we'll see if this thing will slide on there. And that slides down onto that. And we should be able to get under here and just snug this one up to hold everything in place. And snug this one up a little bit. And then we're going to take, like I say, the A's, which is the common one we've got here, I think. You're going to need a couple of them on both sides. And they go in from this back side, uh, lining those up. One there, one over here. And then we're going to do this exact same thing to the other side of the grill. And uh, like I say, to keep me from uh, overheating my camera again, I'm going to go ahead and shut you down while I snug these all up. Okay, so for this part here, I just wanted to say we got these all bolted up. Uh, word of the wise, this little one that's up underneath here that you got to put in, I would recommend getting that in as quickly as possible before putting the bigger ones in. That one there I fought with for quite a while. This one here, doing it that way before putting anything else in there was a bit easier. Uh, so hopefully you won't find that too difficult. And the next thing we're ready to do is to put our knobs on. Knobs are kind of well, they got the little dot on the top. These are flat on the top. And if you looked inside, that'll be flat also. So all we do is stuff those on. And they stay on pretty good. So we'll go ahead and slide all those on. And... And they stick on there pretty good. So that's the next step. That's going to be step number 12. So after we do that, now it's time to put these guys. Uh, these are all these little pieces here. And they're supposed to just set in here. Uh, I don't know. Like that right there is what they show. I guess you can see that. I don't know. It's kind of dark. I'm looking at the camera here, but uh, they just sat down on there, it says. And uh, after we do that, we put the big grate on, which is going to be one of these over here, I think. Uh, I don't know which one is which here. Maybe it's the both of them. So we'll bring them both that way. This would be the big cast iron ones. I guess that's what we would call these. Uh, rip the plastic off of them. They should go right on in and sit. Maybe like that. And the other one. It'll sit just like that also. I believe, I don't know if there's a right way and a wrong way up on these. There's kind of a, yeah, I do believe this is a flatter side. It does have some little pieces here. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe there's a difference that way. 
a little upper ridge there. There we go. So that's got the grill set in place. Uh, and after that, we have another little rack to put in, which will be our upper rack. It even comes with some advertising on it. And this upper rack simply sits in the little holes there, just like that. That's got that part of it pretty well good. And then the next step, it, that would be step number 15. Number 16, we're looking for this next piece, which is, looks like this. Let's see if we can show you this. And then, uh, let's see, which side does that go on? That's saying it goes on the hmm, wheel side, I believe. So the wheel side would be over here, and it's going to face uh, in this direction here. And there should be two holes under here. Ah, yes, there's one. And, uh, okay. Yes, sir. We put this side, I think, in first. And this side, yes. The front goes in first because that's the side that's going to have the hook on it to keep it from falling out. I don't know if you can see that down there or not, but let's take you around here. Maybe you can get a quick little gander at where that sits down underneath there. And uh, as I say, this this had a little hook on this side of it. You put in first, and then the other side goes in, and when you spin it to the side, it'll pop it right down into there. So that'll get that part of it. And let's see, what do we have next on the list here? Let's see if we can get you back squared up here. Uh, next is going to be uh, some cross bracing of some form here. So let me see what we have. I think that's all these oddball pieces here. And that's going to tell us uh, looks like from the back of the grill. So we're going to walk around to the back side here and see if we can figure out exactly where these are going to go. Well, we're not going to see it from back here anyway, so we're going to have to do it from this side. Let's see if we can make this work here. Maybe we can uh, shrink you on down here and kind of get it up underneath here, see if we can figure this out together. Okay, so the direction show it. And the back side of it would be the singular one. And that's saying it's going from someplace there to, hmm. I'm not sure I'm following this exactly, but it does say from this back bar to the front. And it's showing that to go, oh, okay. So it's gonna go from, there must be this side. Is it supposed to come up and hook back onto one of these bolts right here? Well, I don't know if there's another hole in there I'm missing or what. But that's showing it from uh, that side. There would be the opposite end, so it should be from here to there. Let me see if I find a hole back in here. Ah, uh, yes, there's a hole back there. And then this one here is going to go from, I guess, uh, these are not real clear. Um, that one there actually acts like it should go into that hole. Maybe like that. It's not making a whole lot of sense to me here. I don't know what that would do here. We're going to have to figure this thing out. Let's see what we got. We'll get back with you on that because this picture is not as clear as I would have thought it would have been. It's, uh, maybe it's this way. That's probably it right there. 
I guess that's probably it. It hooks into the bottom and then comes up and we put a screw in there. So we got one there and one there. I don't know the purpose of this, but I guess we'll find out here in a little bit. So that requires a couple of screws out of uh, B1, which is going to be in our pack here, B1s. See if we can get a couple of those out of here. Let's see if they fit this little screw hole. I guess. Interesting. Like I say, I guess we'll find out here in a minute how this all works. Grab my screwdriver again. It just looks a little funky, but hey, maybe there's a plan or we'll be redoing it again, try to figure it out better the next go round. Okay. Next, it says we need to uh, put the big tray together, and that's just about running out of parts, so we're just about done, I think. Okay, so you can see up in here, that kind of lays up into this track up in here on both sides, and that holds it in place, and then this little clip kind of rests up against that looks like. And then our little tray here sits in there and does that number. These, I really don't know exactly what that is. Our uh, tank is going to fit here. I don't have that with me, but the tank will fit down into these little grooves here. And I believe that's how that holds that in, uh, into the handle of that. Other than that, like I say, the biggest problem was the uh, little screws that are up underneath here. But uh, that's it. That's the end of the thing. I don't have a tank, so we're going to go ahead and turn this on over to them. We'll set the directions and all inside. Close that down. And that's what she looks like put together. We started this, I think, at, uh, what did I say, about 4.30. It is now 5.41. So that kind of wraps it up. And that gave us a little bit of time fooling with the uh, camera and looking through the instructions. So that's probably a pretty good uh, estimation. About an hour and a half probably would be most people would be able to put this together pretty easily. Uh, got a pile of cleanup to do, so we'll get that cleaned up. We'll call it another successful project, I think. And I appreciate you checking out the channel. Uh, tune back in for other projects. We never know what we'll get into. Like I say, woodworking, small engines, putting the grill together. Who knows what we'll do. But I appreciate you checking it out. Please subscribe. Uh, hit that little like button and any comments I always appreciate. Sure does help my channel out. Gets me a few more views and, and that's what I do it for. So, hope this was helpful to you and we'll catch you on the next project. Okay, so we'll break back in here and make one more correction on this before I do the uh, breakout. Uh, yeah, this is the front of the grill. I don't know why that didn't look right before, uh, but when I went to try to say, well darn, we hooked the grill up, that hose was on the wrong end. So basically we just had to take the four screws back out of it. We mounted it to this base, spun it around, and put it back on here. Those, uh, I must have missed that part of the step as to which way that's supposed to look at me. But now we know it goes the other way around, and that leaves this back out here the way it is. So. We'll go from there. I think that wraps up the video and we'll uh, call that a completed project. And uh, thank you for watching again. We'll check with you on the next one.